Dream is a song that's a little darker and a little more vicious, I guess, than some of the stuff we've done before. Definitely a very focused song. Right from the beginning, we really wanted to slow this record down, have it be a really groove-oriented album. We've never really done that kind of stuff. The Rev is a freak when it comes down to laying just a wonderful groove down. We uh, wanted to slow down the record to a tempo of about like 140, kind of the, the idea of where your heart rate is. And we just wanted it to have a ton of vibe and just a ton of energy. It almost has like a modern, old school, very, very early events unfold dark vibe. Lyrically, we wanted it to be like kind of like almost not violent, but like a pleasure through killing type of uh, a vibe. That one's fucking, that one rules. I don't think we need any more. Or maybe one more? Shits and giggles. One more, shits and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few parts in that song that we tried that have never been done by us, like uh, the incorporation of using extreme sub bass. We got our buddy J.E., hip hop producer actually, to come in and do uh, some 808 blasts. And uh, he made all those and it came out really great. We just heard those uh, a couple weeks ago for the first time. Dude, the backups and screams are crazy. Next. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been listening to the. Is it up a little louder or something? Yeah. Nice. So. If you have a system with subs, you're actually gonna hear just this super low sub bass come in, just mm, and it'll just rattle your speakers. And I think that's something that you know hard rock, heavy metal bands and songs haven't really done. We're in Vegas a lot, and, and I like to gamble. I love to gamble. That's a good time. I was like, you know, like chromatic scale when you pull down a slot machine. Da -da 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 I was like, that that'd be that'd be pretty fucking sick as a riff. Zachy came back with a full on chromatic scale. Like. Doo -doo 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 you know, he took the idea and it was awesome. He sent us this, this demo of it. We're like, yeah, it's, that's that's perfect. That's really cool. Brian went home and he came up with the da 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 da, kind of added a little more groove to it. The da da da. He's always been a really big fan of those type of like grooving, like bending, huge guitars. He just loves that stuff, and he loves it when it's a little bit out of tune and a little bit, you know, wavering a little bit, so it's not too pretty sounding. The guitar solo, I was, we were actually lifting weights, working out, and I was like, dude, you know, it'd be cool. In the beginning of the record, would be just be if you just shredded over something and you didn't even really, it really didn't even have any notes. You're just doing a motif of like a over and over and over. Okay. And the solo is the hardest solo to play because it's all picked. It may sound like it's something else, but it's all picked. It's all those fast, ridiculous triplets, and I don't know how I'm going to play it live, but we'll figure it out. Hey, that's a badass solo. It's a song that you could definitely bang your head to, or you can always see one of your favorite dancing girls dancing to it. To me, this song with the riffs and stuff was like a strip club anthem, you know, just pure groove. Girls can dance to it. At the end of that song, we kind of made, wanted to make it like kind of coming in and out and a little bit more of like a euphoric type of feeling. So me and uh, our engineer Fred sat up really late one Saturday night and we uh, started messing around with samples and with delays and reverbs and different sorts of things. And we sat there and just took all my vocals and took them apart and let them go through it. I love it. I like the way it, goes, it like blends into the chorus. That's the, the craziest, yeah. So that's screen coming about. We didn't want it to be like, oh, here's a grooving part and we're going to ruin it with a fast part kept the whole thing grooving, the whole thing's the same tempo, and it just always makes you bop your head. You'll never hear a part in that song where you don't just want to go like this. Parachine.